Hello, my name is Varun Gupta. I am a senior program manager for the Microsoft Visual Studio team. Today, I will talk to you about securely deploying mobile apps for enterprises. Mobile apps are becoming increasingly important for enterprises. Security of these apps and data protection is extremely critical. Today, I'll demonstrate capabilities of Microsoft Intune to deploy these pure native apps for iOS, Android, and Windows built using Xamarin. As you're aware, Visual Studio with Xamarin allows you to build pure native iOS and Android apps. These apps are built using native UI designers and share business logic across platforms. These apps are compiled to 100% native as per the platform. Therefore, these apps look and feel like native applications. More importantly, you can build these beautiful native apps very quickly using C Sharp and familiar Visual Studio environment. These apps have access to 100% of iOS and Android platform APIs. Thousands of these companies are using this technology to build native apps using existing c -sharp skills. You can find more about it at visualstudio.com. Secure deployment of apps is critical for enterprises. Intune app management enables enterprises to meet these goals with almost no change to their existing app development process. Enterprises can securely deploy and manage apps. Enterprises can configure their apps to manage encryption, set security policies such as pin enforcement. It can even prevent users to copy paste from specific apps. These are just examples of security policies that can be set. We understand that different enterprises use different tools for building mobile apps. Hence, Intune App SDK works with a variety of tools. For example, apps built using Xcode, Android Studio, Cordova, or Xamarin all work with Intune. Today, I will demonstrate how quickly you can securely deploy and manage native apps built using Xamarin with Intune. Note that you can use Intune to manage your devices or apps or both. You could be using different software for managing your devices, and you can still use Intune to easily manage your applications. Now we'll switch to demo. Um, I'll quickly demonstrate how easily you can manage your existing app with Intune. Um, I have an app uh, that I would be using for the demo. This app is used to manage mobile health clinics. This app is already built. Now we want to securely deploy this app to the enterprise and manage the security policy. So you would see in the demo that we will install Intune App SDK, add a couple of lines of code, and then deploy on Intune portal with specific policy. It's straightforward. Um, you will see it's just a few steps, and we'll be all set up. So um, I have um, the iOS version of the app um, opened up um, in the Solution Explorer. Um, what I'll do is I'll go to the Components tab, and I'll click on Get More Components and add the Microsoft Intune component to it. Once that component is added, your project is configured um, to use Intune. Now what we'll do is we'll go to the main iOS file, the app delegate.cs, and add a line of code that calls Intune. And that's it. We are all set. Uh, if you also want to manage encryption for your application, um, you need to go to entitlement.plist file and provide Intune access to your keychain group. What this does is this allows Intune to manage encryption for your app data. And that's it. We are all set up 
uh, with this application and this is configured to use with Intune. We'll build this application and then deploy on Intune portal. Um, now we'll switch to the Intune portal. Um, I have it manage.microsoft.com. This is this this process would be done by the administrator. Um, so what the administrator would do is upload this application first to the portal. Note that you can upload the application to a public store and then Intune can reference application from there or you can upload it only to your company specific Intune account. So um, we, we will first add the app uh, from here. Uh, we'll provide the location of the app and uh, the app would be uploaded to the Intune store. Then the next step would be to set up uh, a security policy. For example, for this particular app, I have set up a policy. Uh, now, let me walk you through a sample policy. Note that these policies uh, can be modified per application or a lot of apps can just reuse a similar policy. So for example, in this uh, particular uh, policy, what I'm doing is um, I'm specifically requiring a simple pin for access. Um, I'll also modify any of the timeout requirements when the pin should be re-entered. And I'm also requiring encryption of any app data. Uh, one interesting aspect is that I am also restricting the cut, copy, paste in this particular app with any other applications on the phone. Um, so I'll um, you know, demonstrate this later on when we look at the app. Now, uh, we'll go ahead and save the policy. So now our app is uploaded onto Intune portal. Uh, we have created a policy. And then what we'll do is we'll just set up the app um, to use that policy. So we'll go to the apps menu. This is our app, the health clinic applications. And we will basically uh, specify a policy for this app. So we'll basically say that this, this app goes to our enterprise users only. Only they can download it. And here, um, I get to choose which of the policies I want to apply. So we'll go ahead and apply this policy. Um, now, the next step would be the actual user in the enterprise will look at this application on their mobile device and look to install it from the company portal and also use this application. Uh, so we'll now walk through that experience for an enterprise user. So I will, so what I'll do is I will open the company portal application and I will see the list of apps that are authorized for my use. I will go ahead and install the patients, the health clinic application. I've already installed that, so I'll go ahead and open the application. Note that as soon as the application uh, comes up, uh, it shows a screen uh, to enter PIN. Note that we had enforced a policy for a user to enter their PIN. Uh, and note that the developer didn't really need to do anything, just added one line of code and they were done. Um, and all of this experience is coming from the Intune. So here's my app, you know, beautiful app and, um, you know, no impact to performance. Uh, what you uh, don't see here, uh, but what's happening in the background is that we also set the secure encryption of any app data. And that's happening automatically in the background. Uh, this app is securely managed uh, via 
pen, and as well as the data is encrypted. We also set policy uh, to avoid users to be able to copy paste or transfer data from this app to anywhere else. This is specifically important for industries such as health industry. For example, if the user would try to email, they would be blocked. And if they try to copy paste the content, let's say they you know, copy the content. Now, if they try to paste it in any non-company application, what will happen is that Intune will prevent pasting of any app, of, of any content. So um, what this demo shows is end-to-end -end experience of being able to securely manage and deploy your enterprise-grade applications. It's very easy, simple for an app developer to configure app to use Intune, just few lines of code, add reference to Intune, uh, it's very straightforward for an admin to upload the app and set a security policy for it. And as we saw, the experience for end users is very straightforward and intuitive. So this is all I had for today. Uh, if you want to read more about it, uh, visit Intune at Microsoft.com website. Thank you.